Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the UML sequence diagram. A sequence diagram is a type of interaction diagram which describes how and in what order a group of objects work together. A sequence diagram are something known as event diagrams or event scenario. So the different factors or different aspects or different symbols used in sequence diagram are first one is actor. This actor shows the entities that interact with or an external to the system. So it is represented by an actor symbol. Second one is an object. Object symbol represents a class or object in UML. The object symbol demonstrate how an object will behave in the context of the system. It is represented by a rectangular box with object name. So the object symbol is represented as a rectangular box. The third one is the lifeline symbol. This lifeline symbol represents the passage of time as it extends downwards. This is a dashed line shows the sequential event that occur in an object during the charted process. The lifelines may begin with a labeled rectangular shape or an actor symbol. So the lifeline symbol is a dashed line which is starting from an actor or a process or a rectangle. So these are the lifelines or the lifespan of a particular sequence of actors. So the next one is the activation box. The activation box represents the time needed for an object to complete a task. The longer the task it will take, the longer the activation box it will. So this activation box is represented as a vertical rectangle and most probably the activation box are marked along with the lifeline of a particular process. So my dear students, let us consider the, the so my dear students, let us consider the next symbol that is an alternative symbol. The alternative symbol symbolizes a choice between two or more message sequence. It is to represent the alternative and use the labeled rectangular shape with a dashed line inside. So this dashed line represents the if else condition that is an alternate condition between two or more procedures available. So it is represented by a rectangular symbol with a label as well as a dotted line in between the center of the rectangle. So now let us consider an example. So here we are considering an example between a phone call conversation. So the caller first of all, so in this example a caller is trying to establish a communication between a receiver. So during a phone call conversation, first of all, we are taking a phone, then the phone, then we dial the phone, we will hear the ringtone, then the receiver will pick the call and the communication will be established. These different processes are, are represented in the sequence diagrams. Here in the sequence diagram, we can see four different processes. Those processes are caller, exchanger, receiver and talk. These processes are represented in rectangle in the topmost box of the in the topmost level of the sequence diagram. The lifelines of each and every processes are represented as dotted lines in vertical starting from each and every processes. Next we can see different communications or relations or association between these processes. First of all the caller off hook the phone that is the caller is taking up the phone then he hears a dial tone so this communication is established between the caller and the exchanger once the dial tone is received or heard by the caller he will dial the number so while dialing a number the dialed number will be forwarded to the exchange server and from there the exchange server will reroute the particular dialed number into the receiver side and the receiver will receive a ringtone. So the dial number communication will be between caller and the exchanger and the ringtone communication will be between the exchanger and the receiver. Once the receiver hears the ringtone, he will unhook the particular telephone. Thus, the on-hook procedure will be started and the communication start to establish between the receiver and the talk center. So 
finally the conversation begins between the caller one and the receiver so this is how we are establishing or we are trying to represent a sequence diagram so my dear students a sequence diagram is a type of interaction diagram which describes how and in what order a group of object work together the sequence diagrams are sometimes known as event diagrams or event scenarios so my dear students this is just an introduction towards the sequence diagram so my dear students kindly write down this assignment question our assignment question is write notes on uml sequence diagram so dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss an example relating with this sequence diagram so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best